like you can win, but if you mess up, you get reversaled. Yeah. Then I think the two things align. But regardless, beautiful STI by the way. Yeah. Fo Fox versus Sheik. Like let's let's see these reactions. It's it's just crazy because it's like every Sheik in history. It's like you 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 see them have like a really good streak in in one tournament or like a couple sets. But J Mook is like very consistent. Like nine out of ten tournaments, nine out of ten sets, he like gets at least one or two or three. Big reaction tech chases. Nine out of ten dentists recommend J Mook. I mean, all the other sheiks that, that we've been talking about, it's you need it. You can't just get away with just outplaying sheiks these days. Yeah, like you need to really respect her options. You need to really oh. leverage kind of ah. every every opportunity you have. Otherwise, it looks like this. Like, like, like right yeah, there. Like, like that. yeah. Jo uh, J, uh, J Mook won the the interaction there, even though it was like Josh's throw. Oh, the needle, dude! I I I bet that took zero processing power from J Mook at all, right? I'm not competing anymore, so you know I'm I'm fine with it. <laughs> it's oh oh man, the the SDI up on the the jab reset yes. from from Joshy. This is what I mean by making him work for it. Uh, but oh yeah, J Mook still covers. Now this could still be J Mook's game. Josh definitely has to be careful, but. Dash dances around the nice. get-up attack, gets the up smash nice. with such great timing, closes out game two. As uh, as oh. Sheik is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the wave dash back we weren't yeah, seeing not, against not Iron. Like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... Oh, wow, take get-up attack into up smash. I didn't know that that... Oh my <sighs> god, the... Oh, oh my god. The reverse. Jeez. Oh. So, it, yeah, but it still ended up getting the follow up anyways, and up tilting under this man, and 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 catching Dude. Josh man with the up air, and this is all business. Oh right my here. god, that up air extension! <laughs> if we just put some Taylor Swift music on, you, you wouldn't even be able to tell. Like, right? This is a new, you know, to use melee language, a new challenger, like someone mm -hmm. that is kind of like, hey. I do it a little different than everybody else, and you gotta oh. figure out an answer because the way J Mook plays Sheik, like he can scrap, he can play defensively, but it's like if you mess up one thing, like you actually will die, and like it's just terrible. And, and Mango's example too, because he plays spaces. I gotta interrupt you, Zook, because we're, we're we're just seeing like kind of a crazy back and forth mm -hmm. uh, from both these players. Like no, yeah, again, it just every moment it feels like okay. Well, J Mook. Uh, Rarely missing the oh. edge guard, but this is this is oh big my combo God. time, and I don't think it's unfair to expect that. No, out of, of him course, almost, of right? course. For him, him in particular. Oh, that so right there. Josh went for the shine. J Mook did the micro micro drift to the right to avoid the shine. Jesus Christ, and and that was a very Ooh, last second adaptation. And oh, oh, dude, this is the first time in the set I I feel like I've seen J Mook crack a little bit. Let's see. Okay, still, still got it. A lot of up smash kills. Okay, I mean, doesn't matter. I, I kind of, yeah, I, I, I like that up air because there's like tilt is online oh, by the way. Go. Oh, shine grab. Oh, edge guard opportunity. This is gonna be a big combo. Oh, it doesn't get there in time. Oh, this is big. Gosh, this is so What's huge. What's a follow up? Okay, J Mook probably has ledge. Oh, he went for the attack instead. Oh, oh my is gosh! That it? That's, that's it. it. That's it. it. That's it. Josh Man over J Mook! The fact that everyone just giving me a challenge right now, it's just it's it's keeping me it's keeping me in check, you know. I need those type of people to, you know, call me out and you know I'm really trying to hone in, lock in, remind myself why I'm on stage, you know, why I'm wearing this jersey.
loves to kind of just have fun in the game. Um, but sometimes when you're playing against someone like that, uh, if you're playing against a more defensive player, someone who slows you down, That's right. it can be hard to keep that momentum. 100%. So, I feel the crowd getting a little bit loud right here. You guys ready for our first match? Jmook again kind of looking for that opening on the back foot. Good platform play so far. Off stage, no, gets the ledge. All right, knockdown season right there. Of course, the Raptor boost to bring yourself back a little bit, but how do you get back to the stage? You're not gonna do it, it's two stocks apiece. Yeah, already Salt with so much momentum, but every time, kind of, it seems like Jmook is just able to answer back, and another grab. Oh man, this has already been so back and forth, such a high octane set to start it off, and we are back. A beautiful spacing from Jmook on these fairs, does get clipped, manages to get back grounded. Down smash. Watch the needles right Love there, the you needle. need to grab the ledge, Thanks, and you Kinsel. might lose the game as well. Grabbing the ledge right there, it's just an easy roll up and it feels like Jmook stole that one away. It looked like he got a little bit gummed up on the left platform right here. Salt will get the platform positioning once again, calling out these counter hit attempts from Jmook as well. But look at that slick movement by the ledge there. Stabilize this, so far Fountain has been working out pretty well and able to kind of slow down a bit of Salt's momentum, but uh, it's still so tricky. Very tricky jump right there to make it back to the ledge. Jmook though still keeping Salt under pressure. Just patiently waiting, why not find it? Yeah, gets the dash back out of Crouch and closes out the stock. Jeez, that real estate on those side platforms are so hard for Salt to get down from. Okay, great tech right there, but it's not gonna be enough. Jmook with the tiebreaker game. Where the grab might have perhaps hit. Great Crouch grab tab from Jmook. That was such a beautiful stock. Okay, another knockdown. Expecting the roll away, yeah, and I don't blame her, but how does she close the book on this stock right now, especially when you have no platforms? Jmook can just go to town on these tech chases. Yeah, and he is going to town. Again, the kind of DI being a little bit tricky, but still completely aware of it. Uh, totally working around Salt's defenses, and now this is a huge lead for Jmook. Yep. And again, Jmook, these crouches are just oh, so good. What a clutch crouch from Jmook. Calls out that jump as well. This is tournament life now for Salt. Off the back of the missed tech from Jmook. You need to close the book on this stock. If you want a chance right here, it's gonna be weak hit instead. Yeah, not what Salt wanted, but the edge guard can Oh no. Oh wow. How did you drift around that so gracefully? You know, Sheik, not a character known for a drift, but Jmook making it work. 69%, so many things will knock down here. That's it. Jmook gonna close it out right there with the 3 1. It looked like Salt was able to try to bring that to a last stock situation. I'm gonna use that Minesweeper analogy. Again, you have to play precisely. There, you know, uh, the shield can kind of be a blessing and a curse, but Absolutely. love how Jmook is playing this so far, man. Just yeah. needs to clean it up, and that's another side that's really hard, you know, not the same kill conversions that. Middle of that stage. Hbox has been coming in a lot with these drift in drills. I wanna see if Jmook catches on to that one. What's his defensive play gonna be? I want to highlight the brilliant spacing we've seen from Jmook there. He did this kind of max range. This is going to be a kill. Yeah. This is why the value of the player cam. Kind of get in the headspace of the players. But 100, you know, any kind of solid aerial uh, starting, like a forward air, uh, up air, will, will kill. You just got to play patiently. Love the jab as well. Here. Does not want to get caught in the air to air because Jmook's all over it. Look at that Ooh, damage. Beautiful counter hit from Jmook, though. Keeps it going and uh, going to tilt here. This is great from both players. The counter hits from Jmook are unbelievable. I wanted to talk about the, the map. Well, I can't even say it. Look at how fast he's moving. Oh, but Agebox manages to get back. Not for long, though. Yeah, you know, th this is a thing that we talk about in every Sheik matchup, and it applies here. Uh, those low percents, they're difficult for Sheik, but he's already out of it. Gets the down tail, gets the up air. We're going to game three. Jmook has really, really liked catching Hbox in the airspace. Look at the way that he's trading. These are such positive EV for him every time. One of the things we've been seeing from Jmook is utilizing Sheik's Drift, a character who has some of the worst aerial drift in the entire game. Yo, we are watching a counter pick that like just typically looks so oppressive from Hbox. And Jmook coming alive, 44% already, still building around. This is such good damage. looking lost. Edge cancel. Forward air, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not gonna do it though, but I mean, this is amazing damage right now. And Hbox is taking a breather. He's taking the AirPods out. What was he listening to before? This is the locked in mode. Yeah, I, somehow Jmook has made some brilliant adjustments. Dude. And it feels like he is totally in control. Kind of an underrated move that Puff has, I must say. Not gonna be my he kill here, I don't think, with a uh, charge up smash, unless he could get a good edge guard. 
Yeah, I was oh gonna my say, gosh, no, I, no. I don't know what I'm talking about. The yeah, this, again, it seems like uh, HBox has made some good adjustments and also gotten a couple lucky breaks. You know, that needle charge is not what J-Mook wanted. Um, so he's got to stake. This is what I meant before. Again, you have to play clean the entire time. If you're able to do that, then Puff really has to work hard. She doesn't have great neutral tools, but if you can't, you get blown up. Yep. Jmu catching on to the first the pound of the set. Drill, yeah. First pound of the set. Second pound of the set. Let's go. KO off the top. Okay. A lot of times we'll see up smash out of shield, like we saw at the end of that last game as well. Yep. Great point. I think uh, one thing I'm also noticing is Jmu not biting on common grab openers. He's going for jab. There's a third. This character's drift is terrible, and he's just constantly yes. so tricky. He's spacing amazingly. Hop almost just died. Didn't hold any direction. I think the main adaptation we need to see from Agebox is just not calling out uh, kind of potential grab opportunities so much. But Wait, he mixed up! He mixed up! Are we gonna see a four stock in the Jigglypuff Sheik matchup? Dude. Yeah, he cannot. This is definitely at the oh. percent. If it ended like that, J it might, might just have popped now. off. Watch the shield. There's the roll right there. The knockdown you love to see. And but that's the it. jab there that is enough is to it. do it. Jmook moves on over Hbox, over one of his bracket demons, staying composed somehow, some way.